Hi, I'm Ian Pringle. I'm a media and education specialist and I direct the Commonwealth of Learning's Healthy Communities Initiative. We look at ways that the principles and practices of open and distance learning, or ODL, can be applied to non-formal education, essentially helping people outside the formal education system to learn about their own health and well-being alongside that of their communities. Good health is a prerequisite to learning and earning a livelihood. Throughout the Commonwealth, disease and illness take a huge toll on education and productivity. Rates of HIV infection in the Commonwealth are twice the world's average, and eight member states have infection rates over 10%, three over 20%. As many as 500 million people develop malaria every year, 90% in sub-Saharan Africa and 6% in India. The World Health Organization predicts that 380 million people will develop diabetes by 2025, and in Kiribati, diabetes already accounts for 8% of deaths nationwide. At the Commonwealth of Learning, we aim to increase access to appropriate information and learning content, building knowledge to better enable community responses to HIV AIDS and other health and development challenges. We help build local capacities to establish and grow new ODL programs and in the process we demonstrate innovative models and approaches. In the Machinji district of Malawi, for example, Cole helped to bring together a community health project, the district health office, and the local community radio station to design and operationalize a learning program about maternal and child health. It's a collaborative approach centered on a 30-minute weekly radio program and a learning support network of over 200 grassroots women's groups. Healthy Communities takes a holistic approach to community development, one that encompasses issues of well-being and everyday quality of life, as well as major health concerns. For example, in addition to developing educational solutions to increase AIDS and HIV treatment literacy in countries most affected, we're also helping partners to develop community learning programs about nutrition, home gardens and waste management, as well as life skills like parenting and conflict resolution. We're working with a wide range of partners to develop non-formal, community-based ODL programs in all regions of the Commonwealth. For example, in the Solomon Islands and in India, in Jamaica and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, in Malawi, Tanzania and South Africa. People learn best when they're engaged in the educational process, and so we spend a lot of time thinking about how to design ODL programs to make them learner-centered, learner-driven, interactive and relevant, making the most of media and educational technologies. Since learning needs are greatest in resource-poor and remote areas where infrastructure, services, and literacy and basic education may be severely limited, it's essential that we consider low-cost and scalable technologies like radio that address local issues in local languages, involve local learners and teachers, and that can be driven and sustained with local resources. At the same time, we're actively exploring the opportunities offered by new technologies, including open educational resources and digital content, new networks made possible by the Internet, and the interactivity and unique reach of mobile phones through applied research in these areas, both with academic and development partners. Take a look at the Healthy Community section of Cole's website, check out our newsletter, and don't hesitate to share your ideas and your questions. Thanks for your time.